Hey, good morning, Mark here at Tough Touring. It's very early, it's uh, six o'clock on a Saturday morning. Just had to uh, pause that one and cut and start again and go and do my hair. Uh, yeah, anyway, what got me up this morning was um, trying to nut out the right thing to do um, as, as an installer for, for customers and ensure that they can't hurt themselves when using um, inverted power. So, I've got a really, really good example to show you. It's a hidden installation in a 200 series. Um, owner of this one's done a great job of, of keeping all his storage space and, and still running a fridge. He's got a, an Evercool, push a button. Yeah, he's got an Evercool fridge drawer. Um, and, uh, and the brief on this one was to get everything needed to run uh, coffee machines and um, you know, sort of a thousand watts um, of constant load without solar panels and to keep the car uh, pretty pretty much looking like a car. So no fancy stuff hanging out everywhere, no wires. Um, so how we've done it is we've used a few of these products here. And we like the Victron stuff here. It's f fairly affordable. So a whopping big inverter. This is a, a 1200, it's a 12 volt. 1200 VA, which is about a thousand watt inverter. Um, that'll sit at 2000 watts at peak for five minutes or less and run at a thousand watts all day long. Um, we've got a remote for it, a little inverter control. Because the inverter has a power point in the back of it and we didn't want, you know, to be fishing around in there to find the back of the inverter to turn it on. Um, the remote is installed here. It's just a switch right at the back of the vehicle, nice and neat. Uh, so that does the inverter power. Um, the actual charge for the lithium comes through a 30 amp DC DC charger, which is one of these things. Um, these are all Bluetooth, by the way, so all your controls are on your phone. You don't need a display panel, again, very minimal and very affordable. And then we've run a solid charge controller as well. Um, so that the customer can roll out some uh, solar blankets when they're going to park up and sit stationary for a little while. And then a few outlets. Um, just a simple little flat panel. So you've got a voltage meter, two USBs under that. You get these off eBay. Two little USBs for charging phones and lights and things now, a lot of the portable lights. Anderson, SIG socket, or a Merit if you want, and a um, and your solar in. Now this is really handy. A few little tricks about the 200. Now, gotta have a shout out for these fellas that have done the Forby drawers. So, four ball Forby drawers. If you can see their phone number, it's on there. Unreal drawers for the 200 system. This is the best we've seen. Um, all the kick panels have got the right amount of space in them. You can pull them off, really well made. You pull a kick panel out and suddenly you've got room try and get in there and show you for all your gizmos so big lithium battery in there I'll flick it around this way I don't know if you can see in there there's all our Victron goodies um, all the wiring's nicely hidden inside and then there's more room over this side with this kick panel that's where we've how's the huge inverter and also they've left a little bit of room in front of the seats I don't know if you can see that which is just enough room to get through with access with different cabling and so on and not have uh, not have a total disaster now I've, you might have noticed some of you that are pretty hard on us uh, we've left a, a big gaping hole here which is for a, um, a double power outlet so you know just like you got at home switch switch that's where the cabling will run for that one, which I haven't wired in. Now, I'm not allowed to wire that in because I'm not a household electrician. Um, and this brings up the topic that I wanted to talk about. So, for years and years and years, I've run around with inverters and done stuff, but must be getting old and wise, or maybe old and scared. I've started to run um, safety switches uh, in my own stuff with young family and so on. And I reckon everyone should really think about this stuff and have a look at their own setups and maybe follow lead here, examples. Inverters power is 240 volts and 
it'll kill you. You stick a knife in a toaster or something, same as at home. Australian law now makes us put safety switches in houses so that you know kids that play with PowerPoints or um, drop a hairdryer in the bath or any of that sort of stuff that you horror stories. Um, you don't you don't get injured or hurt. Um, I can't see any reason why why we sh should run inverters without doing the same thing in in vehicles and four-wheel drive situations because well, I mean let's face it you're a four-wheel drive you might go through water you might get wet. It's likely that you're doing a lot of cooking and mucking around here, really close to all your power. And um, 240 volts is deadly, you know? Um, yeah, you got steaming pots, I don't know, you might have rain coming in here. There's just so many ways you can earth, earth out and, and give yourself an electric shock with uh, vehicles and trailers. Uh, it's like $150 to put in an isolator that makes it all safe and get a qualified electrician just to just to finish it off for you so that they're satisfied that you can't hurt yourself. Because, uh, you know, most of us do dumb stuff when we're away as well. And always it's that's when you, you play up, so. So here goes on the right way you should do it. You should have a weatherproof double power point outlet, a safety switch like this one by Amphibian. Uh, and all of that should be installed by a qualified 240 volt electrician earthed to the chassis of the vehicle. This guy's Amphibian are doing a fantastic job. It's an Aussie. Aussie product, super safe. Um, if you're gonna run 240 volts, do it properly and put a safety switch in, in line somewhere if you can. If you can't, maybe don't run 240 volts. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, Forby Drawers, yeah, good Aussie company again, fantastic work, best we've seen. I really like the drawer fridge and I think this is really, a really good, neat touring solution for, for guys that that have got the big, the big wallets and are running around in these 200 series. Um, if you can still keep your storage space and keep keep the fridge, you know, out of out of the picture. I mean, there's enough room in that thing to to certainly certainly tour for a good while. Um, if you're flat packing your food and so on, and maybe a few beers, you might. You've still got a lot of space up the top there for all the rest of the gear that you've got to carry. So. I mean, they're, they're a big truck and a beautiful, comfortable vehicle, but there's not a lot of storage space in a 200, unless you're towing and all that sort of stuff. If you're trying not to, which is what we're all about, um, that's a, a great way to great way to get it. And there's also, I mean, the boys here have put a, a drawer in here as well. I don't know what's in it. It's like a box, I don't know. Yeah, more stuff inside. Really nice, all the rollers are lovely. Um, anyway, um, Thanks for watching.